Hi Cancers, welcome to Terribly Accurate. This is your general reading for um, October 15th through November 15th. And this is for anyone who is a Cancer Sun, Moon, or Rising sign. So the intention of this reading is to pick up on what's going on with the majority of all people that um, have Cancer in their chart so that we can make the best um, choices moving forward and things like that. It's kind of giving you... Um, the predictions for this month, what the struggles will be, and then the best way to navigate those so that we can all be happier, healthier individuals, right? So um, you can choose what is going to resonate for you and just take that. Or another way that you can use these readings are to look at your moon sign and your rising sign. Um, there's a video in um, the helpful tools playlist that'll kind of explain to you what each sign is specifically for or what that means if you're interested in that. Otherwise, some of you already know. Um, but then the other thing is pieces that might not resonate the first time that you watch this. It's, you know, for a whole month. So maybe a week later or two weeks later, you want to come back to the video, save it, and um, look at it again because maybe now things will resonate that didn't before because they hadn't yet happened. Um, other things, I might not be the reader for you. Maybe there's a different reader who will resonate more closely to you that their style is, you know, different than mine and, and that works better for you. But if my style um, clicks, with you, please like the video, share them, subscribe so that you get alerted to new videos when they come out. And um, for those of you who are wondering what happened to some of the other readings we used to do, uh, Maslow's Pyramid, Stop, Drop, and Roll, stuff like that, that is all moved to a site called Patreon. So if you're interested in that, where there's um, Crystal Grid uh, lessons and um, tarot reading lessons, the link is in the description box below, but if you're not interested, that's okay too. And then the last thing, I forgot to mention this for um, Aquarius and Aries, is that in about one month, there will be a um, announcement made here about a new project and how you can get involved in it and then become famous. So um, look forward to sharing that with you in uh, mid-November, but we'll just get started right away. So I have two different decks going here and what this reading is going to cover for you. This one, by the way, is new. It's from a friend and um, those of you who read tarot or are familiar with it will know that if somebody gifts you a deck, um, you are obligated to use it, so I'm really excited to do so. Um, anyway, uh, we're going to start with a general theme for your reading and then we're going to go into areas of um, family, home life, friendships, work life, money, um, health, and then singles love and couples love. So what is your general overarching message um, that we need to know about this month, October 15th through November 15th? Peace. Oh, it's so beautiful. And blue is such a good color for cancers too as a water sign. It says that I am, be I am a being of love and I release all negative energy. So this month we're definitely going to want to focus on the positive. This is alluding to the idea of the law of attraction that um, our thoughts and our beliefs, what we talk about, what we write about, becomes our reality, okay? So be very um, peace-focused and very optimistic, okay? So we'll just get started with your family life. So this could be your actual family, whether they're near or far, or just the people you consider to be like family, your very close circle. What can we expect October 15th through November 15th? The Eight of Wands. So what this is saying is that um, we might be a little bit defensive. We might be feeling like we are attacked. Coming back to that card of peace, we want to make sure that we can remember that the worst of our challenges within our family life are behind us. And from here forward, maybe it's not necessary to um, be on alert and um, to be feeling defensive at all you know just creating that peace and harmony and acknowledging that it's there and being thankful and expressing gratitude for that what else the four of wands so it's just saying yeah things are pretty stable within your home um or not your home but your but within your family at this point in time things are prosperous things are um, becoming more happy and elevated to like a higher good so appreciate that and use that law of attraction energy so that it becomes even more wonderful now what's going on in your home life we have um eight of swords so the eight of swords is saying that there's something there that you're not looking at that you're not acknowledging, that uh, perhaps you are shielding yourself from dealing with it, from thinking about it on purpose. Um, it's definitely stuffing and avoidance. What is this about? Um, 
the nine of wands. So sort of that same energy as we talked about with our family where, you know, we're kind of prepping ourselves for a fight that isn't even going to happen. Okay. So we have to come out of that place and come to a place of peace. This is how we move our lives along forward in a positive direction towards our hopes and our dreams, okay? Um, towards a better us, a more happy, stable environment. That's how we're going to do it. So what's going on in our friendships for Cancer, Sun, Moon, and Rising, October 15th through November 15th? We have the Nine of Swords. Um, not paying enough attention to our gut instincts, to our own intuition, okay? Okay. Um, and it's just because we're kind of just saying, you know, what's going to happen is going to happen. And, you know, things seem okay. But there's always room for improvement, isn't there? So this is saying it's definitely okay to keep doing things the way that we have been doing them. All right? It's okay. Um, but we need to be very cautious that we're keeping our friends secrets so that we can keep our friends. <laughs> okay? Um, friends don't like it when you go blabbing their secrets everywhere. And it's saying that um, what's kind of going on for some of you within your friendships is that you know this, but that there's other people who are barking at you, well, just tell me, just tell me, and you have all of this pressure associated with it and part of you is just like oh my gosh I just want to be like a lone wolf right now like I don't even want to deal with other people like I have all this pressure it's kind of scary you know it might be like well Kathy opens up to you like what's going on with her we're worried about her you just keep your mouth shut okay because otherwise Kathy is not going to be um <laughs> be uh, your bestie anymore so that's how you keep things stable within your friendships. like And your real friends, like those who are um, going to be there in your life for a long time, they're going to understand that and they're going to appreciate that when they're the ones who are confiding in you and need um, support and need their secrets kept. Now you do have a number message and I want to look that up for you. Your number message says God's wisdom is moving you in the right way, so move forward with confidence. So it's like trust your gut. Trust your gut instincts. Think with your um, heart more than your mind this month when it comes to um, family and friends both, okay? Now, what's going on in regards to your health this month? What do we need to know? Cancer, sun, moon, and rising. Page of Wands might be getting new ideas that you are excited and um, just pumped up about. It could be, you know, diet, exercise, stuff like that. For some of you, it's going to be like boxing or kickboxing, something like that, like MMA fighting, that sort of a thing. Um, very strange. But it's saying that this is really true to who you are. It's a really good um, program for you. And it does allow you that solitude, you know, how you, we had that concept of like the lone wolf. Um, it's very individual. And it will make you, um, it's, totally going to be affordable for you. It says like it will pay off, like you'll get your money's worth. It's totally going to make you feel stable and grounded and just better about your day-to-day -day life as well as your work life. Like, even if you're thinking, gosh, I don't know that I have time to implement something like that into my life, you totally do. Um, now with this one, the page of pentacles, it's saying new ideas might be coming our way. Um, about how to create more money. Now, for some of you, this is a very interesting um, thing, and it's not going to be for everybody, but for some of you, it's ideas about, like, gosh, I think I want to be a stripper. Okay? <laughs> it's very possible. Um, or some sort of work like that, like using your beauty, using your, um, or modeling, something like that, using your, your physical body to make money. Um, this could be, like, learning how to do silks and joining Cirque du Soleil or something like that. That's very specific for some of you. Um, but it's just saying that this is a door opener, that it'll allow you to see the world, that wonderful things will be born of that. So if that does resonate for you, even though I know that's super specific, whoever that message is for, um, go ahead and do that. That's really, really going to be a blessing for you. Um, what's going on in regards to work for the rest of you? Um, things are going to work out fairly. So if you are going to, um, for example, if you need to raise your prices on something, that's, some, that's something that people will understand and they will pay that. If you're not showing up to work, you're not going to get paid. If um, It's just very, justice. You know, like everything's going to work out the way that it should. What goes around comes around kind of month. 
So make sure that if you work in a service industry that you are being kind and friendly and you're smiling um, because that's how you're going to get those kind of things back from other people. I'm sorry, I'm just looking up a number message for you again. Um, we had a couple now where it says your divine life purpose involves working with angels very closely. So ask the angels for help in building your spiritually based career. So perhaps that some of you, maybe one of you or some of you are going to start um, being a Reiki healer. And you're concerned that, you know, you're a new business, so you need to give some of your services away for free. But maybe what you could do instead so that that works out fairly is you could ask for referrals, okay? Or you could ask for a review. You know, it's about balanced give and take. You can't just give things away um, and not take something back in return this month, okay? So no free services, Cancers. Um, what is going on? Whoa, we got all of these cards here. This one's dying to come out. It says go within. Really look within yourself. Know that things take some time um, to grow. And just um, talk to the spirit world to figure out, like, are you on the right path? Meditation is really important this month. That will help you figure out what it is you're supposed to be doing, what is your purpose. And um, just remember that sometimes it feels like you're growing old, waiting for things to pick up, like especially in a new business. But they, but they will. It's just about patience. Now, what's going on in regards to your money? Um, you really need to have blind faith and optimism, um, even if you don't know what it is that you want. Now, that's a problem with the law of attraction. I know that I want to be happy. I know that I want more money, but I don't know what that looks like, okay? As indicated by this guy, he has no face. He has no belly, right? He's the fool but he hasn't quite decided what the future needs to look like, baby steps. Think about the things that you want, that you desire, and be very general when you're trying to attract those into your life, okay? Um, but remember, we always want to attract peace. So let's be thankful as well. Express gratitude for um, the things in our life that we already do have and that we know are coming for us. Now, what's going on in our love lives for single Cancer, Sun, Moon, and Rising, October 15th through November 15th. We've got the Ten of Swords. So um, some of us are still feeling hurt over some breakups or disappointed um, by the way that other people have treated us. How are we to get over that? The Four of Swords, more sleep. Okay, you're not resting enough. And so when your brain is tired, when your body's tired, we can't cope effectively and heal effectively the way that we need to. This is saying that you also um, maybe haven't communicated, talked to your friends or other people about how you're feeling. And it's cathartic to do so, so you ought to um, communicate with other people. Now, if we're going back to the friendship portion of the reading where we talked about, you know, guarding other people's secrets, this is why it's important because they will guard yours. Okay, what else for single cancers this month? The Wheel of Fortune, your luck is about to change. That's wonderful. And I can't think of a better representation of this card um, for than in this specific context because look at these birds here. They're intertwined. They're in love. Their luck is changing, okay? That's just so wonderful. Now, you're a water sign, right? And so you will have particular luck with a Leo or a Gemini this month. Um, it doesn't have to be, but those signs are very much highlighted right here and perhaps a Taurus, okay? Now, is there anything else singles need to know? Okay, new relationships where we are just overflowing with love and joy and happiness um, is a great possibility for the majority of you this month. Now, what is going on for a couple of Cancer, Sun, Moon, and Rising, October 15th through November 15th? More of a focus on um, building something stable. So this could be moving in together. This could be getting married. This is about future planning, um, but new adventures that way within your relationship. It's also saying, though, that we don't always trust the other person in the relationship. We're trying to guard ourselves a little bit. We want to be smart in the investments that we're making and the decisions that we're making. Um, but 
more than likely things are going to go okay unless you are in a relationship that is already not going okay, one that's codependent, one that's abusive, emotionally manipulative. Um, it could also be like verbally abusive or it could be physical but less likely to be so. It would be um, like if you're in a relationship with a very stubborn person um, where, you know, it's like, feeling like you're always attacked, walking on eggshells, and then alternatively very sad, but you can't leave because you are afraid of being alone, that sort of a thing. In context of that type of relationship, if you're in that, you need to find a way, even if you're not ready to move on from it, to spend more time outside of the relationship with other people, with people um, that are fun for you, that enjoy your time, or that you enjoy your time with them, um, celebrating things. like. And even if you don't have a lot of friends because those types of relationships tend to um, take you away from your friendships, going to other places like joining meetups, things like that where you can have um some fun and some social socialization outside of that relationship. But for the rest of you who are happily coupled, we have temperance here, which is about um, you know balancing your everyday life with the emotions and the love feelings and all of that within um, a relationship. Trying to find the balance between those and and growing as a result, which comes really nicely with that Ace of Pentacles card that we started with, where. It's talking about, you know, finding stability and creating a routine with your partner um, in a new way. So if you've already been living together, or you've been married for a long time, it's just creating a new routine. So maybe one of you started working from home and like you're getting distracted by your partner or something like that. It's about creating a new routine. And so um, for couples, it says you have the magician card. So it couples very well with this card where we talked about you know, we want to be thinking about peace. We want to be thinking about good communication with this blue throat chakra color. And um, we want to stay focused on the things that we desire, not on the things we do not want. So we don't want to nag. We just want to praise the other person for what they're doing right so that they continue to do it with that positive reinforcement. And then our relationship will be more harmonious and peaceful. So if you'd like a personal reading, I am always honored to do those for you. My contact information is in the description box below as are links to Snapchat, Instagram, Facebook, all that stuff. Um, I look forward to seeing you in a couple of weeks for the love readings. Bye. Mwah.